hello my extended uh, family today I'm doing a video on coffee creamers if anybody is like me who likes to have flavor in your coffee I've been doing some research now give and take this is going to be each one has its own wrongs I guess where one's got more fat than the other and calorie counts and everything like this now I don't per se, I told you before, I don't count macros and I don't count calories. Life seems to be working its way out with us. If you are, do your own research and what I'm about to present. But I am one who loves flavored coffee. One thing I'm not liking these days is the price for a 15 ounce container of this. The stuff here is almost $4 or more. And it's crazy. The sugars that are in this um, for instance, I got a vanilla caramel, and when I looked at this, the carb counts alone, just for four teaspoons, was nine grams. And on top of that, there's seven grams of sugar, and that includes seven grams of added sugars. So do I really need this, even for myself? Now, I'm the only one that drinks coffee. I am not diabetic. But I've also walked this journey with my husband. Like I said, I've lost all this weight and I kind of want to stay in, in a position where I'm not going to go backwards. So I'm being really cautious about some of the better things to put in my own body and the things I enjoy. So I did some research and I thought coffee creamer itself originally... Now, this here is a bulk style you can pick up at Walmart. Three pounds of this is like $7.96. That was, to me, was a game changer. And when I read the nutritious facts on it, for one teaspoon, it's one gram of carb. There is absolutely no sugar of any kind within this container. So it kind of clicked with me. Huh. I wonder if I can make my own flavors. So... I started doing research and so I figured well do I want to do the coffee creamer because this actually has more calories even if it has no sugar well when I looked at the non-fat dry milk this became a fact for me is I'll get what I can get give or take and take the better option to me the non-dairy coffee creamer became the better option because when I looked at one third cup of dry non-fat milk, it was 12 carbs. And there's 12 grams of sugar. And I don't want that. I, I just, I don't. So I preferred to set the dry milk aside. The only difference is this doesn't have the vitamins and nutrients. The coffee dry or the uh, dry creamer milk does. So it's a give and take here to making your own decisions. But for me, and maybe this will help somebody else, I'm looking at being able to make my own coffee creamers, dry creamers, without spending the expense when I can get more for my buck out of this to make my own. So here's what I came up with with one. I decided to try a mocha mint and this turned out amazing i'm drinking that with my gingerbread uh coffee and it was it's yummy <laughs> it's actually yummy and i'm actually drinking more coffee due to this cold we're having and it's just going to get worse so here's what i did with this now i've already prepared this one but that's what gave me the idea that maybe i should go ahead and explain what i did so i took three cups of my non-dairy uh coffee creamer i took my homegrown chocolate mint ran it through the coffee grinder to make it into a fine powder like this so with my three cups of coffee uh creamer i added one teaspoon of my chocolate mint and then i added two tablespoons of the Hershey's 100% cacao unsweetened uh, chocolate. This turned out absolutely amazing. I ran it through my food processor just to blend it up really good. 
when I did this, um, the leaves, after I turned around and ran them through the coffee grinder, I did sift it to take out the bigger pieces so that it was fine through the rest of it. That way it would be in my coffee in a smoother sense of drinking it. Now, do I end up with still little beady particles of leaves? Yeah, but it's not enough to make a difference. I enjoy this flavor and getting the fresh mint is not going to hurt anybody. So, and this is what it looks like. Now, it may be hard to see, but it's a nice chocolatey color. It's not overbearing. And honestly, here's the difference what I did from the recipes that I've gotten. The original recipe calls for adding one cup of sugar. I chose to eliminate the sugar. You might want to be able to add maybe your artificial sweetener and have it all together. For me, I just take out my amount that I want in my coffee. I'll add a substitute sugar packet and I'm good to go. So this choice is up to you when I give you the full recipe to copy down. So Again, you can add your sugar, your sugar substitute, or you can leave it out like I did. This held the three cups that this in, um, recipe made easily. And I felt like, wow, I'm, just to get this for half of nothing? That was amazing. So, And I have more flavors. So the basic recipe on how I did this, three cups of powdered creamer, one teaspoon of mint, and two tablespoons of unsweetened chocolate. This is your uh, mint or cocoa mint or mocha mint. Now again, you can add sugar or leave it out. If you add sugar, it is one cup of sugar added to this mix. It will then leave this mix to be four cups, and you probably won't get it in this 15-ounce container. So you can actually use a half-gallon jar or a quart jar, whatever fits for you, and put it on your shelf and use it as you'd want it to go. A few other ingredients that you can make that are I happen to enjoy as well, which I'll be incorporating. Again, I'm not adding sugar to mine, but you can use three cups of coffee creamer or dairy uh, milk, whatever you choose, and one tablespoon of pumpkin pie spice. This will give you pumpkin, pumpkin spice coffee creamer. Another one, three cups of your creamer or milk. This is your base. The, the three cups is your base for all of this. And one tablespoon of apple pie spice that will give you a nice apple, fall, Christmassy, winter flavors. And the last one would be three cups of your creamer, one tablespoon of cinnamon to get a cinnamon flavored. You can add some nutmeg in that if you want as well. But these are the three four basics that we could do for the winter time for that nice warm cozy feeling and those extra flavors your cinnamon flavor your pumpkin spice your mocha mint and then an apple spice it's just as simple as that to have a nice loving cup of i don't know warmth in your belly i happen to like this but i didn't know if anybody else would benefit from it so i thought i'd share these with you I really hope these these recipes or these homestead homemade things are actually helping any of you. Um, I try to look for the best value in a buck and this creamer for three pounds for eight dollars versus four dollars for a 15 ounce container of a flavor full of sugars. That was no brainer for me. I, I can make my own for a fraction of nothing and get maybe four times this size out of one container so that saves a lot of money i hope this helped you some i know this is a short one today i have some farm work i got i've got to get done i'm getting ready to pull out the turkey so i can roast it and get ready to can for my broths and stuff i do have many other 
um, things that I'll be doing during this winter with the homestead on my downtime, even making pantry meals for our pantry challenge. So for every little thing I can think of that might help you, I'll share it with you all. Again, God bless you. Um, remember to, if you're not getting the notifications when these are coming in, when you subscribe, hit that little bell button and set it for all. Share these with your family and friends if they're helping you at all or if you think it might help them. And subscribe if this is something that really interests you all. For those who are with us in this large family, God bless you. I love each and every one of you. I am thoroughly enjoying interacting with you. Um, we're the crazy homestead, but hey, it is what it is, and we make life as simple, and I enjoy it. I have fun doing what I'm doing. So, until next time, much, much love to you from Parton's Heritage Homestead.